What's up, Uncle Mark? What? What do you have? Hello. Good morning. So, I stopped drinking soda. That's number one. There's some backstory, I guess. There's a lot of backstory, but let's just talk about it. So first and foremost, shout out to Roar. I'm still working out all of this tour stuff that we talked about last week, and a lot of people have reached out, which now sort of makes the situation, the best way I can describe it right now is it feels like I'm untangling boxes and boxes of Christmas lights, but, we got the lights, and they're all just tangled. We just got to sort it. Uh, Roar, who I've been, who's been trying to get me off soda for a long time, is one of the people that I actually fuck with. It's the only people that I've hit up so far, people that I really do deal with. You know, we were just kind of joking around, and they, they tweeted the other night that they were going to support the tour. They tweeted that before he even told me like that they were helping. So um, when they tweeted that, I just went ahead and decided, like, fuck it. You know, if they're going to show support, then I'm going to not drink soda for at least a year. And obviously, the idea is, like, longer than a year, because once you don't drink it for a year, it's a little bit easier. But I have stopped drinking soda before for years at a time, like, years. I've just kind of, you know, obviously slipped back, like, into diet sodas, this, that and sometimes regular ones. So that, that happened, and so we're just gonna go with that. Go over to my Twitter, there's actually a hashtag, and Roar is hooking people up with 50% off on like four cases. So if you go over to my Twitter, you can find that. So shout out to or Roar, Roar Organic on Twitter, but yeah. Um, so that was the start, but the other thing that happened, so last week, I was making fun of Earn for, I was making fun of Earn for not eating and running. And then I said, running and a lack of good proper nutrition would become, you know, well, it's certainly not anabolic. You know, your legs aren't gonna start growing. That led some people to leave comments as if I didn't know what I was talking about, which, whoa, hold on. Got like tons of comments, messages, mentions, people telling me I was a moron, um, people telling me that I'm a fat piece of shit and that I shouldn't, <laughs> that I shouldn't have anything to say about nutrition or making your body any better or any kind of exercise whatsoever. So then I realized that not a lot of people know here, um, and I know that you don't know because there's really no context for you to know, that I used to be super into bodybuilding, like super, super into it. Um, down to the point, well, even more backstory. So I, I grew up pretty fat, you know, I was a fat kid. Parents were both bigger. We didn't do, we didn't, I played baseball and sports, but there wasn't any like real exercise regimen. Nutrition wasn't some, we're from the South, so nutrition was not really, you know, as much as my parents tried, their was not any real knowledge behind it or science. It was just kind of like whatever the fuck Oprah was saying that week or whoever. In high school, I got kind of skinny and then after high school, broke my leg skateboarding, got pretty big. And then I started tattooing, which maybe just get even bigger because you're just sitting there all day. For anyone that tattoos that's here knows you just put on weight when you start tattooing. You know, get money gut, whatever you want to call it. Um, I got big, like super big. I ended up getting su- Hey! I need you to chill on the bone. So I got super, super into nutrition, super, super into bodybuilding. I was studying nutrition like crazy, you know, measuring every single meal. I was like way into it, super into it. I lost tons and tons of weight. You know, I got down to like less than like on me, I was like 160, 180, which on my frame is kind of gross, at least to me. Yeah, so I like was like crazy die hard into bodybuilding, had a trainer who I loved, I was at the gym all the time, sometimes at the gym two days a week. Some, you know, I do two a day sometimes when I was going through a crazy cut, bulk and cut, and, you know, had these like fantasies of sort of competing in bodybuilding just because I was so into it. All my friends were into bodybuilding. We were all like crazy, you know, and this was before, there was before Instagram, there was really before any kind of real social media, you know, there's like, I remember MySpace and I would go on these rants about people fucking curling in the goddamn squat rack. Industry, there's a huge industry, but not like it is today. So, so a, lot, a lot has obviously changed since then um, with me physically and as well as what I want, desire, et cetera, et cetera. But it's obvious that everyone around is trying to be healthier. You know, like I've talked about it in the last couple of weeks that I wanted, that I started to slip back into old habits. And if you remember when the vlog started, it's eating like pretty healthy. Like I was pretty, pretty solid with what I ate. I tended to not really like fuck around too much. 
salads, all kinds of just healthy shit all the time. Uh, not healthy is healthy is subjective, but you know, just being conscious of what I was eating. Which now, currently in the last probably like four months, I have definitely not been conscious of it. I've definitely been so busy acting out of convenience more than anything. I don't remember the last meal I cooked here other than yesterday. It's literally just like Postmates and Uber Eats like every single fucking night because I'm trying to get shit done, edit, finish all the other stuff I have to do, have a social life, Twitch, hang out with Omar enough, like just all these things that I stack up for myself and then I start to fall into old habits and don't do what I know makes me feel better. That's what this is really about, this whole tangent. Tie this all together. Um, I've been talking about getting healthier. It's obvious that Earn is on some sort of trip to get healthier, even though I may not agree with his methods, but maybe we can fix that too, or at least talk about it. You guys are trying to be healthy. I know a lot of people, a lot of you guys are super healthy and you go to the gym. And one of the funnier things that I hear all the time about my shoes is that I have so many runners and I don't run, and things like that. So I thought it would be fun, and I thought it would be interesting. And I also enjoy the challenge of since we're doing this thing with Roar, and we're all taking this no-soda oath, no, not all of us, but the ones that are, I'm certain that there's more people out there that are also um, not exactly happy with where they are or their habits or things like that. So I've been here before. So my one main point here that I'd like to bring up, because I'm going to do something, I'm going to do this, I'm going to challenge myself. I do think for fun, one. Two, I feel like I've slipped from my own comfort zone. Three, maybe we inspire other people to actually, you know, there's a little accountability. So what I'm gonna do, everybody knows I have the gym membership. I've been going a little bit, but not like not like I should be for what I'm paying, especially not when snowboard season was in full effect. Snowboard season is basically over now. I have two months before I leave. So these next two months for sure, before we go on the road, um, is basically just gonna be like super training time. We're just gonna like eat super good and we're gonna work out really consistently. Um, or at least I am. I don't, I don't know why I'm saying we, but that's the plan. Um, get all the bullshit food out of here. No more soda. Just water, tea, roar, and coffee. I don't really drink coffee, but, you can, but as far as diet goes, we'll just start talking about it. I'll tell you guys what I'm eating every day. We won't like, I'm not going to center the vlog around like fitness and nutrition, but I'll include those things for the people that are interested, for those people who are going to try and make any kind of change themselves, and also just include in the vlog like what I'm doing every day, because slip back into old habits, and I think that everybody does it. I'm well aware of how to get in the shape that I want to be in. I just, um, you know, different goals come up and you just kind of certain things slip. So I want to add that if you're happy with yourself and you're happy with, like it took me a long time. Like I grew up fat and then I got really skinny and I, I saw both sides. I saw people who in high school or whatever didn't want to have anything to do with me fall at my feet and beg me to date them because now I was, you know, in shape or whatever, the, how they desired me to look. And, and all these different stages of how I've looked, how broke I've been, how much money I've had or haven't had, none of this shit has mattered other than how I felt about myself. I, I need that to be reiterated because on the internet and a lot of the comments, people say a lot of shit and a lot, 100 percent of people are projecting their issues with themselves. No longer, no matter what they look like, if someone super skinny comes to you and leaves you a comment about how fat you are and <clears throat> Omar. That's their fear that they're projecting onto you and has nothing to do with you. So I think that above all, before anything, nutrition, dietary, fitness, and beyond, you know, like what you wear, how you speak, how you choose to spend your time, all these things. It's a conversation you have with yourself first. If there's something that you don't like about yourself or if there's something that you want to do or don't want to do, you're the only person that needs to make that decision. You're the only person that really whose opinion matters. You know, what other people think of you has nothing to do with it. So if you're totally cool with how you look, how you talk, how you feel, everything like that, then fuck it, dude. Like, don't let anyone tell you how you should be or what you should look like or how you should act. That's not the point here. And never will that become the point. Um, this is just like something that I'm adding and I'm only really acknowledging it because of all the earned shit. Um, we talk, hey. I'm only acknowledging it because it's been talked about on the vlog. It's been back and forth and really just the funny, the funniness of the comments existing and how it reminds me like all the time. I like negative comments because they remind me how much I love myself. The shit just makes me realize when I see it, I'm, I laugh. Like I laugh my ass off, but I also look at this 
as a way to show something that um, a lot of people may not know. And this is a vlog, and I like to do vlog things, and I think it would be very interesting to see other people kind of follow along, keep each other accountable in some ways, help each other out, like, you know, throughout, you know, through the hardships, because this shit's not easy. Changing your eating habits, like yesterday. Dude, yesterday, so I haven't had really any sugar, and I really haven't, I'll explain how I'm gonna eat here in a minute, but I haven't had any sugar, and any, nor any caffeine, other than the caffeine that's in green tea, in like 48 hours, 72 hours maybe. And my yesterday, I was I was done. You know, like I had a headache, I couldn't see straight, it was like, like the worst migraine ever. I really didn't have much of an appetite, like I just didn't feel good. When I did have an appetite, all I wanted was sweets. You know, I was like, I wanted sweets because my body was just fighting me. Um, I think that shit's funny, but that's because I've gone through years and years of trial and error and success. But I figured out like what, how my body works, how my body reacts, and how I need to like actually do this. But I know not everybody does. So a lot of people, when they set out to lose weight, or they set out to do like any kind of nutrition or fitness or anything, they get really lost, anxious, anxiety. There's so much information out there. I don't really like want to start coaching you guys on any of this shit because obviously there's people out there who are way more qualified. I'm just gonna lead by example. If you guys want to follow along, that's cool. And uh, we'll see obvious physical changes as they happen and we'll talk about it or whatever, whatever. So um, as far as like bodybuilding goes, so there was an old article with me, bodybuilding.com. I don't know why they got my name wrong, but they did. Uh, if you read this regimen and food intake, this is a program I used to run back in the day. My trainer at the time, rest in peace. Well, that was kind of where the reason, one of the big reasons I got out of it. I guess we could go into that story another time, but my trainer passed passed away unexpectedly, surprisingly, and uh, dramatically. This information um, is a little dated, but it's it's good. It gives you like context where it came from, some of the things I did before this. A lot of my previous uh, regiments included feeding times versus non-feeding times, which is kind of what seems like the rage right now is intermittent fasting, which is kind of basically what I did for years anyway, just before it really had a name or at least I didn't know it had a name. So I'm gonna return to that because easy for me it's something that I've done for a long time as far as waiting to eat and starting my day fasted and not eating past a certain time. I've always done that. Not because it was my bedtime just because it was in window of time. We'll talk about that if we need to later. And then overall just like the types of food that I eat. I used to run sort of a keto, keto s diet time keto. I don't really 100% like my body doesn't run as well off like a, a lot of carbohydrates and a lot of sugar. I don't tend to perform as well. Definitely like a meat and vegetables kind of guy. So uh, I'll be mostly just like natural foods. It's just mostly vegetables, meats, and healthy fats, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll give, I'll do, I don't know how I'll do it, but we'll figure it out. I'll show you guys what I'm eating and how I'm eating. That's the plan. The gym, I don't know how many days a week right now. I need to sit down and do my plan, but we'll probably be in the gym like at least three days a week, but probably more like five. And then cardio, I don't really know. I really fucking hate cardio. Like I really, really do. But when I did do cardio, it was sprints only. I only did high intensity interval training sprints. So if I did that, it's going to be that. I'm not going to, I can go for runs as far as I can tell right now. It's not something that interests me, but I don't yeah, that's it. That's the backstory, I guess. I think I've covered it all. I was super into this for a long time and was very addicted. I think that I have a better place mentally with it now, you know, like mentally before I was younger, I had all these different reasons and all these personal issues. I was trying to work out by going to the gym and looking better. But now I'm old and now like literally if I don't, like if I keep eating the way that I'm eating, I'm just going to get more and more tired. And I've been so tired the last month. It's just time to like change it. So started with no soda. Now we're into the, now we're gonna do nutrition and uh, we'll be in the gym more. And then we'll continue this on the road. That'll be a great little incentive for the road because a lot of people do really good on diets until they hit the road. So that'll be fucking great. Yeah, well, it's just a vibe now. That's what we're on. So that's guess that's what it is. Snowboard season's over. It's time to just trim the fat, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully you guys get inspired. Some of you won't, some of you will hate this idea. Some of you are already like in the best shape of your lives. Probably won't even notice much of a difference, just more content really. So, so with that being said, my first meal today won't be until two o'clock. Uh, it'll be a salad. I'm not really sure what the plan is today. I have meetings with Sager, Ern's on his way over. I try and hit up the gym um, before the vlog. It might be after, I don't really know. This is gonna be the hard part is kind of getting into a pattern but it's not really hard. You just have to think about it. None of this shit is hard. It's just different. That's one of the big things. I look forward to, uh, I look forward to this. It's fun. I always think it's fun when you set out to 
do something challenging. So, all right, let's get the day started. Are you acting like you don't want to know? Why are you pretending? All right, let's go. I'm supposed to use the boost blade, but it's all the way over there. Shout out to the plug. Oh, fuck. Oh, I leave it. God damn it. Dropped a whole jar of weed. Uh, box. Oh, the cord got you fucked up. Alright, so Ultra Boost. The white climb a cool. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. And then, the moment of truth, the biggest size that this came in was a 12 and a half. Nice, thanks homie. The end of this letter says, if Ern actually takes up this vaping bullshit, please let him know that I'll be getting on the next direct flight to Denver just so I can personally slap the shit out of him. Just so we're clear, it's not just me. Ooh, it's got a little thing about the i 5 9 2 Let's see, oh yeah. Well, that's a little different on the toe, at least. I don't know, so this is gonna be a rough one. Does it have an insult? No. Fuck. It's uh, the nicest thing. Like, this could go bad. I don't really know. Ah. Woo! It's up there. <laughs> hey, stop. It is on the motherfucking toes, for sure. Oh man, it's tight on my toe. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. It doesn't feel like a regular Nike though. It's still pretty shallow on my toe. Damn, I fired it though. Um, shit, I don't know. They feel different. I'm probably gonna keep them up. It still has like an inline. It's tight. It's super like snug on my foot. Not the most comfortable for me. We'll see. We'll see. Yo. Yo. What up? What up? We out here. Where are we? Alberto Leo. Oh, just oh, yeah. all over the place. Oh, great. Yeah. And I had something so funny to tell you, but I forgot it. Um. Damn, we're sitting there vaping this morning. Thank you. I came up with this stuff. <laughs> I forgot what it is. Oh, yeah. Speaking of vaping and you vaping, I just got a. These shoes in the mail. Nice. And it came with a note. Piece of paper in there. Huh? That's not a piece of paper. Uh -oh. It is a piece of paper, technically. No, well, technically it's a piece of board. What is this called? What is this called? What? A postcard. Okay, so why isn't it called a post paper? Because it's a what? I just said weird. It's what? It's what a is card. It? It's card. Shot. Thank you. But that's made of Thank paper. Thank you. It's card. It's, it's made, made of paper. paper. So are trees. What's it got to do with anything? You it? feel that it's paper. So Feel free to leave a comment below. Yeah, paper or I'm card. I'm not taking this out. Yeah, take this motherfucking L. I don't know where the note is, but it says literally, if you're serious about this vaping shit, they're going to take the next flight from the UK to slap the shit out of you. Oh, that's hilarious. And I lost that. I thought it was going to be something. I thought it was going to be something. If you're serious about vaping, we're going to hook you up and make sure that you're nah. ready. We're just going to slap nope. the shit out of you. Nope. I can't find it. I already lost it. Crazy. Uh, what else you got? <laughs> the fuck else do I have? Okay, I had all these good ideas. Coming up well, yesterday you were talking about how much you hate Fortnite. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. Because I played it again last night. Mm -hmm. Like how you play it in private and don't tell anybody. I know. I'm not even teaming up with dudes because I get frustrated too quick that I'm like, if I get in this... I don't know. I'm not into the length of it anymore. I'm yeah. not, there's no, cause you could get so far and then some asshole just fucking snipes you with his little gun. That's and, ball the game. I guess so, but like, I don't know, dude. I wish I had PUBG. I don't, this was my substitute cause I could play in that same sort of battle arena, but now I'm playing Far Cry a lot more. Yeah. What's up, big man? What's up, buddy? That's crazy as fuck. Has there ever been a shoe you couldn't cop? <laughs> ah, people are so confused. One that doesn't come out in a... In a yeah, tape. fucking a couple of years ago, um, I couldn't cop. I was just like everybody else sitting there waiting on Yeezys, fucking taking an L. Yeah. Now I'm not. Yeah. Dude, 
What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you biting me? Are you attacking me? Are you attacking me, mister? Oh. Get him, Omar. Get him, Omar. Get him. Where's your little ball? Get him. He's got Where's fake Calabasas pants on. Get him. They're not, we don't know if they're fake. Where's that ball? The what ball? Ball? There's balls everywhere. That, like, look. boxing ball. Motherfucker, do I look like a fucking GPS for dog toys? Look the fuck around. What are you talking about? I don't fucking know where it is. I got it. I got yeah, it. I imagine so. All you do is look. Where is it? I don't know. Let me, let me whistle for it like it's a canary. Uh -huh. I don't know where the fuck is it. Dog stuff. <laughs> All done. I, I announced today in the vlog our new uh, dual health regimens. Yeah, that's Well, good. your health regimen is just you no. flying by the seat of your pants and not eating. I was like, all right, since Ern's gonna kill himself, basically, I might as well fucking join him, you know, do something. I can bring juices over in the morning. What juices? From the juice place. I don't want any of the juice. Uh, what are you doing? What's your plan? That's not a sign that, well, I'm not gonna eat until two o'clock because you don't eat. I have to basically like balance this around how my life is. We can is eat though because I'm eating breakfast, just eggs and a vegetable. Yeah, but I'm not. You're eating eggs and one vegetable? How many eggs? Like two eggs. And then running? Broccoli. Oh, okay. That's not yeah. bad. That's what I've been doing. At first, it was no eating. Then I was like, you know, I'm going to try and eat just straight, healthy, like eggs, vegetable, like no sugar, no fat. Not that I'm not eating no sugar because last night. I no fat? No not fat. no fat. I don't mean no fat. I just mean no, no sugar. You might die. I meant carbs. I meant no like extra. No food. He meant no food. <laughs> I don't really have a plan. So, yeah, I know. So that's why I'm doing it because this is what I used to do. They don't know that. So I explained to them this morning that I used to do this. Let's do it. It's a tough one. No soda for a year? You can't like, I could do it for a month or two, but it's like every now and then there's that, oh, the fucking good soda. Maybe I could do it. I don't want to think about it. I mean, I'm doing everything else pretty good. I could do it. Well, I'm just like super tired all the time now, but. Well, dude, that's why I started running. I just felt shitty, and I was like, I'm going to start running every day, and then I started getting more energy. And now, the more I run, the more energy I get, the more I go, well, fuck it. If I'm doing all this, I might as well eat better or like not eat shit because then just counteracting all this goddamn running. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but I'm gonna healthy body, up my not eating method into like a little bit more portioned out with some some ideas. I just have to yeah, for years and years and years. And I was telling them earlier, only in like the last six months or so, because it's gotten so busy, that I've started eating out of convenience again. Like well, me like, too, yeah. dude. That's when I end up. The busier I am, the shittier I eat. Yeah. You stop at McDonald's because yeah. you're literally like, I will just fucking grab something yeah. and eat it because I forgot to eat all day. So the next two months, while we're planning this tour, this is where we're at. I'm down, and then it'll be fun to do it on the road, because if yeah. you're down, it'll make it easier yeah, for yeah, me we'll find gym, not sure. to fall off, yeah. Let yeah. someone take us to their gym. Yeah, yeah. The vlog now has some new new chamber. Yeah. The goal of the vlog is to eventually have 36 chambers. Yes. Oh, it's Teddy, you the 36 chamber. But uh, yeah, I want to get into the dog park more, dude. You want to switch for a little bit? Yeah. I'm down. Do the lab challenge. What challenge? The lab challenge in the elevator. The elevator. Uh, the day before we leave, I guess. Yep. Want to ship the drop? Yep. Okay. I'm out. I'll see. Ya. He's uh, shipping the drop right now. Yeah. Sunday's drop going out. I have to the drop. Hey, now, free so. pair of climacools in the motherfucking shit. Yeah. We're out here. We're doing things. So it's finally two o'clock. So I'm going to eat my salad. And down is whoa. It is kale, chicken, pumpkin seeds, walnuts, and that's it. I'm gonna add some avocado, and then we're in oil and vinegar. That's it. This is the olive oil that I use and vinegar. So everyone asks. This is it. That's their website. They're not paying me. Time to eat the salad. Okay, so. It's definitely later than usual. Ugh. For the uh, second day in a row, I've gotten a massive headache. It's gone now, but that's because I just woke up from a nap. I had to just lay down. I couldn't. I couldn't even see. So, uh, just to be clear and honest about changing your diet drastically, um, shit will fuck you up for sure. It'll definitely make you feel like quitting instantly. 
and uh, you kind of just got to deal with it. And I'm fortunate enough that I didn't have a bunch of shit to do today. So I was able to just, uh, you know, deal with it. I was able to go lay down, take a break, get back to it. So the vlog will be late tonight, obviously, but I'm going to get out of here, the gym right now, get the workout in, and then come back and edit. So that's the plan. I'll be right back. Really go for a minute. No, new schedule for you too. Done. It's time to go back home. It's very hot. Okay. Uh, home. It's not as late as I thought. It's not that hard to fit that in, really. I don't feel like you need to be in the gym for longer than 45 minutes, or you're kind of just, you know, just getting there and crush it. So, all right, let's review these shoes. Let me get this. Oh, are you want supper? Come on. Let's get supper. So shoes today, I got a pair, a couple pairs to look at, but we're only gonna look at the Aniki I-5923. So Aniki went through a name, this is the fucking weirdest drop. Like this is the weirdest shoe. So these are only, these are UK exclusive for size. Da -da -da -da. This is the card that came with it. So it's definitely being marketed as the Hawaiian Thunderstorm from size at Adidas. The biggest question that people have is why do they change the name of the Aniki? Um, so here, I'm gonna take you on a little conspiracy theory. I-5923 is takes its name from one of the many vintage articles within the Adidas extensive archive. I-5923 is a hybrid shoe that features characteristics from classic 70s runners fused together with the latest contemporary technology. The I-5923 returns for 2018 in a fresh colorway. It takes inspiration from the vibrant color made found in a Hawaiian thunderstorm. That's what the card says. This is the shoe. But here's the here's the conspiracy. The Aniki, the word Aniki. So when that when they changed the name, I asked all over why they were changing the name. Some people were saying it was a trademark issue with the word Aniki, but the only reference of the word Aniki anywhere on the internet is for the Hurricane Aniki that hit Hawaii. It actually is the largest hurricane to ever hit Hawaii. This is all going down when the name change went down. I asked a few people and the most informed response that I got was that they were changing the name of the Aniki to not look insensitive to naming it after a storm. But then this kind of just like throws that whole theory out the window. But at the same time, there's too much correlation for that not to be the reason for me. That's pretty interesting that they did that. I don't know if that shade, I don't know who they'd be throwing shade at, but that's, that's an interesting thing. And I could be completely wrong on all of the theories, but I just don't think I am. Maybe it's because I want the story to be true. All right, so let's get into the situation on the feet. Size official, I-5-923. The shoe looks like, focus. This is what the shoe looks like. I'm gonna turn this light off in the background. That's super distracting. This one, shout out to the plug in the UK for this one. A lot of people today were asking me how I already got my pair. I got my pair because I didn't check them out online. Someone was in store the second that they dropped. And then minutes later, these were in the post office on the way to me. I paid a grip to get them here. Uh, two day air and they actually got here a day early. So shout out to the post office for once. Even though you guys still haven't delivered Tony D's Sean Witherspoons, like, come on guys. I'm trying to do something good here. I'm just gonna call it a Niki. This Niki is a little bit different. The materials are different as fuck. You still have suede paneling on the heel and suede paneling on the toe. The suede in these pairs are way nicer than the GR pairs. Uh, compare that to the let whatever emergency is happening now stop. It's like fucking Gotham out there today. Y'all done? Uh, compared to the regular pair of suede, it's definitely not as nice. Like, this suede is okay, but this pair, super, super buttery. Same with the uh, neighborhood pair. It's a little more buttery than what you get in the GR pair. Um, other than that, materials are way different. The way that the shoe is basically constructed is different. Jesus fucking Christ! The way the shoe is constructed is completely different. I mean, this one will still smush down, but not like this. The, you know, the old Anikis have this sort of open mesh liner, where this pair has 
more of your regular uh, mesh NMD kind of liner all through. Pretty thick, like it's not, I don't know, it doesn't have that slick feel. It's definitely more matte and feels more cloth-like, but there's still this liner in between. This panel kind of looks like it's PK, but there's another reinforcement underneath it. It definitely doesn't do, definitely doesn't do this like the neighborhood. You just don't see that same amount of flex. There's a stronger reinforcement. Same thing with this Aniki, you're gonna get more flex. More flex in the knitting itself. It's got more stretch to it. This is a 12 and a half. That is the biggest size that was made. A lot of UK exclusives only go to 12 and a half. The question is, does it fit? Yes, it does fit. Like I can wear them, but they're not the most comfortable thing in the world. I definitely need a 13 in the Nikes. So my big toe is the only problem. It's literally pushing up against the end of the toe box. So um, I don't really necessarily suggest half sizing down. I would prefer a 13 for sure. Am I gonna keep the 12 and a half? Most likely. They're not gonna make me a 13 uh, Adidas size. If you guys wanna make a 13, I'll give this one away. I'll probably hold on to it just because I really like the colorway. This is apparently what a Hawaiian storm looks like. It's also very close to what a watermelon looks like with the lights off. But yeah, so basically the paneling is totally different. Again, this does not switch down the same as your regular Nikes. There's just a little more reinforcement. There's a little more reinforcement around the toes as well. Um, I mean, like I said, you can pretty much flatten this whole shoe out. Like this whole shoe flattens. There's a little, like this isn't as easy. You know, like it flattens a little bit, but it's not quite as easy. Um, black boost on this, not a lot of black boost in Ikis. This was a black boost in Iki, and people were saying there was another one, but I can't remember which one it was. I don't have it, whatever it is. Icy Clear Soles, I5923 branding, which a lot of people don't like. And then one cool thing about this is the three stripes, the crinkle cut craft three stripes on these um, are offset on one side with pink and black. Pretty nice touch, pretty cool. I don't believe we've seen that yet, but that, that is a nice touch to it. It really kind of sets off the three stripe paneling. But yeah, as far as fit, like I, it's it's a different fit. I, like I said, the 12 and a half is literally pushing it. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, oh yeah, they fit just fine because they're fire. Like I think it's a fire shoe, but I won't be able to wear these all day or anything. I wear them to walk down to the store, like chill out, lounge by the pool, all kinds of leisure activities, but this will not be an all day shoe for me. Nikes really aren't anyway. So to me, it's more of a lifestyle casual shoe anyway. So that doesn't really bother me. Yeah, this knit on the outside that looks very PK is not PK. It's definitely got a liner all in it. Pink branded insole that does not come out. That's pretty much it. I don't think we got extra laces. I don't believe so. We got laces everywhere up here. I don't remember what comes on what, but I don't believe we did. So these dropped at size in the UK. They will not drop anywhere else. They are sitting in the UK as far as I know. I know the online site probably sold out, but Size, which is owned by JD Sports, apparently still has some. So if you have a UK plug, hit them up. They could probably get them to you for retail. I really don't know what resale is right now because they are currently not on StockX, but I'm sure they will be soon. I'm gonna send out a text here in a minute and ask why they're not. So that's the size of Niki. I'm super psyched to have gotten these. Shout out to the plug. Even though they don't fit, I can still wear them. This is like one of those struggle shoes, you know, like just gonna have to deal with it for now. Who knows, they may end up going, you know? Trimming a lot of fat around here these days. Speaking of trimming of fat, this week I'm going through the shoe collection and I'm getting rid of a bunch of shit because it's time to, what's the word I'm looking for? Simplify, yeah, that's the word. And I don't wanna move all the stuff when I have to pack. All right, that's the day. Packages are on the way. I'm out, see you guys tomorrow. Good luck to everybody that starts a little fitness journey. For those of you that have been on fitness journeys your whole life, congratulations. And um, Love y'all.